Good everyone, I'm Angela Marshall. Flathead County's jobless rate dropped below double digits for the first time in a year this fall. But as Laura Wilson reports in a special econ tracker report, more jobs in the Flathead Valley does not necessarily mean more financial stability for community members. September that a little over 4,000 people in the Flathead Valley were unemployed. That's the lowest unemployment number reported so far this year. Not everyone in the community is convinced, though, that it's a sign of a better economy. It's not something that you can just take at the face number value. There's so many variables, and you have to look deeper. The shelter's fuller than ever and just continues to remain that way. The Flathead Food Bank reports a similar trend. We saw 258 families in one day just at our Kalispell Pantry, and that's the most we've seen yet this year, and it has been that busy for weeks now. So how does a lower unemployment rate and a higher demand for basic necessities go hand in hand? Samaritan House Executive Director Chris Krager says it could be a sign that people are settling. The employment opportunities that are available sometimes aren't paying enough. I'm, I'm finding that people are, are going ahead and getting a job that may not pay what they, they need it to pay. Such is the case for Second Helping's thrift store floor manager Susie Wheeler, who started working as a medical technician over a decade ago. After being laid off from Kalispell Regional Medical Center over five years ago as a result of a turning economy, Wheeler said it felt like she was starting over in her career. You go through the whole program of um, retraining for the, your resume and um, other things um, to help you job search. And it turned into it, almost exhaustion trying to find something out there. In an economy where local good paying jobs seem scarce, older residents say they're up against even greater odds because they're applying for jobs that a newer and younger generation of college graduates are also applying for. And for some people, that's just too much to compete with. When you think you're going to lose your house and you, you just you get to the end where you can't pay everything that needs to be paid and the children are doing without, you finally break down and say, you know, i got to get what job I can get just to be able to make ends meet a little bit better. Wheeler's current job pays half of what she used to make, but as Wheeler points out, it's enough for her and her family to get by. We have a roof over our heads and we're all, you know, um, healthy. You know, I think that counts more than, you know, anything. In Kalispell, I'm Laura Wilson for Montana's News Station. Wheeler was able to secure her current job using a local job services program. You can visit our website at kaj18.com for more information and resources on how to find available jobs in the Flathead Valley.